More Lweni Quintessentials. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Pozzi. Today, we are starting a new series and it is intended to assist and support small to medium-sized enterprises that are looking for funding. So you need funding to scale, to invest, to finance your startup, your enterprise, then this is a video for you. Today's topic will touch on purchase order funding. First and foremost, what is a purchase order? A purchase order is confirmation of an order that has been placed by an existing client. Let's say, for example, you have a government client they you and they request specific services in order for you to be in the procurement system in order to receive your payment they will give you a po number the purchase order number is a guarantee for the job that has been um, requested by this particular client and it's a confirmation that you are doing this job and it's also a confirmation that you are going to be paid a purchase order number simply put is a receipt from a client confirming that they have requested a specific job from your business and they intend on paying you for the specific job that you are required to perform the purchase order number usually comes from the finance department or the procurement department and that's what will be used to facilitate payment into your account once the job has been completed. It's also a confirmation that this job has been specifically outsourced to your business and it's a way of tracking payment and it's a way of also securing you as the business owner from the client coming back and saying, no, we didn't outsource this project to you. You have confirmation. So it's your receipt to say that we are in agreement that I'm performing a specific service and this is how much it is going to cost. You get the PO, but you don't have the money to fulfill the required activities or the services that you've been requested. So what do you do? There are a number of options that you can look into if you already have a confirmed purchase order number from your client that you can go and request funding from various purchase order funding organizations. I'll give an example of marketing collateral. Your client comes to you and requests banners, a thousand banners, but you don't have money in the bank to go to your supplier to pay for those thousand banners. What do you do? The purchase order fund will help you to secure the funds that you need to pay your supplier for those banners and then once you receive payment within 30 days from your from your client then you are able to pay your suppliers this is a way to help you facilitate payments in the short term purchase order funding is usually for a duration of 7 to 90 days but it differs from lender to lender the interest rate for this type of lending is also dependent on the service provider that you will be going to when you are um, sourcing this purchase order funding. Purchase order funding is used to procure capital to deliver new products and services in the very short term. The purpose of the purchase order funding is to bridge the gap between you receiving the order and the payment of that specific activity that your client has requested. Purchase order funding also depends on the credit worthiness of your business. So it's very important to keep track of your credit worthiness as an entrepreneur. What are the documents that you need to apply for this purchase order funding? Firstly, you need your CIPC company registration documents. You need a PO from a reputable organization. You will need your quotation to accompany your PO when you are applying for PO funding. You also need your tax clearance and I assume probably your BE certificate. So all your compliance documents. Do watch my video on the necessary compliance documents that you need when you are starting your business. So you need those four main documents when you are applying for purchase order funding. What are the quickest ways to get your purchase order funding? Do a Google search for reputable purchase order funding organizations in your city and do the necessary due diligence to make sure that they really are who they say they are. When are these goods or services required? So the quotation must stipulate the due date 
on the document. Putting the due date also gives an indication of the urgency of the request. This will help to also fast track you receiving the funding that you need. Do put the dates on your quotation so that whoever you are requesting the funding from knows the urgency of your request. Make the, co the phone calls to those particular organizations that offer PO funding and find out what their requirements are. And if they have an electronic system that you can upload your documents while you are still waiting for a confirmation of your PO or when you have your PO already, then you can start uploading your documents on their website. Most of these organizations are electronic, so you can start the process ahead of time, even though you might still be waiting for your PO to arrive. And then most important, make sure you keep your phone closed or answer all your calls. I know most of us don't like answering private numbers, 0860, 0800 numbers, but make sure that you answer your phone and stay close to your phone. You are able to provide any information that is required for your funding quickly, promptly, so that there are no delays in your acquiring the funds that you need. What are the advantages of PO funding? Well, the most obvious is that you get the funds that you need immediately. Um, you are able to secure funding immediately for a job that you need to complete within a short time frame. It's also a way to protect your business and your reputation with your existing client because you can't exactly go to your client and say, I can't do this or I don't have the funds to do this and you don't also want to lose out on business. PO funding is a surefire way of you protecting your business, accessing new growth opportunities, and access to capital and cash fast. So it's a way to really fast track and accelerate the growth of your business. Now I'm gonna give you a list of purchase order funding organizations that you can actually research. Please do your due diligence and make sure that you vet these companies because I haven't used them specifically. I'm also bookmarking them and reserving them for when I need them. The first one is the People's PO. I've heard a lot of people talking about the People's PO. It seems like it's quite a reputable brand. All of these, by the way, are South African based, Johannesburg based mostly. There's the Funding Hub that you can also look into. Lula Land, I'm putting all the names of the PO agencies on the screen. so. And I'll also link a few of them below so you can click on the description box and see which ones you want to go for and do your research accordingly. There's Spartan, there's EMS Capital, Rangewell, Beyond Joint Venture, Essieswick Group, Flex Capital, Keynote Finance, Nashvin, and AFS. Those are the ones that I was able to find just through Googling. I think it was Entrepreneur Magazine or one of these um, online entrepreneurship magazines. You can also just do a quick keyword search, purchase order funding in your area and find out. Um, I'm, I, I'm sure even if you are not in Johannesburg but are in South Africa, you can still apply to these because I mean, all of these things are virtual and electronic and you can upload your data on their website, etc., etc. The Funding Hub is also a very good one because it centralizes all of these purchase order funding agencies and then they will connect you with the right PO company, PO funding organization that suits your needs. So they are more like the intermediary and the go-between. That's another quicker way of, of resolving your search for a PO agency because also there's usually a very tight time crunch, then it's easier for you to keep going back to them because they have you on the system and they can connect you with the relevant and most appropriate funding organization that can assist you. And then lastly, what is the fee for you know purchase order funding? Because nothing is for free, Lime Zanzi. So how much will you have to pay for the service? The answer to that is every company has a different evaluation model, so it will depend. So that's why I'm saying you need to research the purchase order funding agencies. I've given you a list. Do your due diligence, call, get quotations, because they will take a 
percentage of the gross profit find out what that percentage is because you also don't want to be in the back foot where you're not making any profits do your due diligence once you've found your organization then hopefully it should really not take longer than three to five three to four days to have the funds in your business account and you are ready then to pay your suppliers for whatever working capital that you need i'm very wary of these funding agencies that want access to your bank account because there are those that say they want access to your bank account for a specific period while you're still doing your job so that they make sure that when um, you get your payment from your client they're able to swoop in and take the their percentage of the money that is owed to them but I, I'm just I don't know if I'm comfortable with having an organization that I don't even know having full access to my business account I mean really and how do you know that once the transaction is over they are not going to come back and be dabbling in your account I would be very cautious of you know terms and conditions of some of these PO funding agencies select a funding organization that best suits your needs but also make sure that you do your the necessary security checks you're not on the back foot and you're not robbed and you are not giving too much of your agency to a third party that you don't even know um that you are unsure of you know what i'm saying so it's a very quick and short video if you need quick funding purchase order funding is the way to go if you have used any purchase order funding agencies or you have other names that you would like to add to the list that I've already provided, please comment below, share with us, share with the community so that we can help each other out in terms of when we are researching and looking for specific funding opportunities. Like, share, subscribe, quintessentials, and I'll see you in my next video. Ta-ta!